ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sid Alpha, and welcome to another episode of Is It Worth It? Today we're looking at Cradle, an indie puzzler slash puzzle mini gamer game by Flying Cafe for Simi Animals. That's right, that is the developer's name, Flying Cafe for Simi Animals. Uh, this game just was released yesterday, July 24th, on Steam, and it has been receiving quite a bit of buzz around it, so we'll, we'll take a quick look at things here, and uh, I apologize, I'm not going to be doing a standard play-by-play through the first uh, while of the game, because the, the intro area of the game is quite long. And uh, following along with the story elements, even knowing where to go, it will take approximately 45 minutes to get to the first puzzle section of the game, which I will want to show you here in, so you can get a more complete picture of the game itself. So what we'll do is we'll launch into a new game. No, we will not take the tutorial. So here is how you start out. Waking up on the floor, not having any idea who you are or what's going on around you which is also in keeping because the game really doesn't tell you much of anything about who you are or what's going on around you. So that actually, I'm actually okay with. Now you'll notice when you step out into the world at first, this game does have good graphics, quite exceptional graphics. Uh, a couple of things to note here off on my first impressions are, one of the things I did was I just took off and started running. I just went that way. And yes, I just kept going. So it's a pretty wide open world with really not much in it to speak of. But like I said, it is an open world. The graphics are much, much better than I had expected from an indie developer on a game like this. It's it's really quite good. Uh, I have noticed a few bugs and glitches. The, the, largest, the largest thing that stuck out in my mind was when I was doing uh, testing for uh, FPS. And uh, I noticed that this game is, does run at 60 FPS. However, it has a very hard time maintaining that. And bear in mind, I have a fairly powerful machine. I've got a 5930K processor, 16 gig of DDR4 RAM, and a GTX 970 video card, and this is running on an SSD, and the game still has a difficult time running stably at 60 frames per second. So there are some small issues there that will need to be worked out. Uh, other people have noticed some other minor bugs and glitches with the game, but overall, aside from that, it runs pretty stably. Uh, I've had no hard crashes so far, and uh, overall, it's run pretty well. So instead of running you through the basics of walking you through cooking breakfast for your pet bald eagle, I will transition ahead so you can see what that looks like. Okay, now that we have the bird's breakfast cooked, you can actually see him flying in here. So we'll put it on his stand for him to be able to eat. And I wanted to make sure to point this out because this, the bird flying in like this, it really does emphasize what a wonderful job they did with their animations and everything that they've done in this game to make it look as beautiful as it is. I mean, this looks great. It really does. They did a fantastic job. Okay, so now that we've fed the bird, and I just, like I said, I just wanted to emphasize how beautiful that bird looked, uh, we'll be transitioning on in order to get to the minigame. And here we are at the minigame section where you will actually be spending the vast majority of your time in this game, which I must say is a bit of a disappointment. Whereas these lungs for your robot are the prize of the first minigame. Let's see, so we'll want to...
Okay, so once that irritating mini game is done, you can get yourself back to the real game, which <laughs> I do love going down that slide. Uh, the real game, which is much more interesting than the mini games, which this keeps forcing you into. So, but once you manage to fight your way through the mini games, this is a beautiful, if limited scope of a world. Uh, it does claim open world and it really is, but unfortunately past this limited area that you are in, there's really not much there that I've been able to discover. So, so far this is a game that had that has a lot of potential. It really does. Unfortunately it falls a bit short. Uh, when, when you're looking at a storyline as interesting as this one and uh, graphics done as well and as well as this and as well thought out as this, you really expect to see more content from it than from what you're getting. I mean, on average, you can complete the game in approximately five to six hours on average. Uh, so for what you for what you could expect from a game that has had this much thought and effort put into it there's really not mo not much content here but for a $13 price tag which is what this game's priced at it is what i consider to be a must own it really is the the graphics are good the storyline is good the voice acting is subpar but still present and still helps with the overall feel and look of the game so overall, I would rate this as a good buy and good value for your money. Although I do have a specific note to Flying Cafe for Simi Animals. If you guys are watching this, please listen to me when I say that so many people were expecting to see more from this. And granted, you know, this is a $13 game, so it is value for your money with what you're getting here but it's obvious you guys have talent know what you're doing and are capable of doing so much more so that's what I want to see from you guys on your next game more of this but larger more scope more content um, even in the same world this seems to be an interesting world that you've brought into being here and we want the chance to be able to visit it again and spend some more time enjoying what you enjoying what you've created. So please, please give us some more con content. I guarantee you, people will buy it if it is of the quality of this. So that being said, this has been Cradle. It is available on Steam for thirteen dollars or your regional equivalent, and it is definitely worth checking out. So once again, my name is Sid Alpha. And I'll see you next time. Hey folks, Sid Alpha here. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. If you want to check out some other First Impressions videos, feel free to click on the link on the left. If you're interested in staying more up to date with what's happening in the PC gaming community, feel free to click on the link to your right. The subscribe button is down at the bottom. Please show your support and punch that evil thing as hard as you can. And once again, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.